Hey guys, Andre here from PSD Box. Welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial. Today I have a quick video about how to create a photo effect and I want to show you how to create those golden tones um, and uh, I call it autumn tones and this is the effect that I want to show you and uh, I'll use these two photos for this. You can see before and after and here before and after. It's a simple tutorial. We're just going to use a few adjustment layers and I actually also recorded an action which allows you to create this effect really quickly by just playing an action that takes two or three seconds. And on my website you'll have the download link if you want to download this action for free. And well, let's get started. So before we start, uh, let me delete this group that has all the adjustments that I made and let's start over again. Now I will use a, a gradient map. So the first thing I add is a gradient map. Clicking this uh, gradient here will open the gradient editor and I change um, the usual thumbnail list here to uh, this small list because I have the names of the, of the gradients. And the first one that I used is the platinum gradient and I'll click OK to accept the change and I'll change the blend mode of this to Hue. And I like this blend mode because you can see how it um, combined with this blend mode it creates this um, brown tones which are really cool. And uh, it's, it's a bit too strong so I'll decrease the opacity to 30% and still you can see how you can uh, actually change the tones of, this, of the skin and also the background helps a bit because we have this yellowish tones, but um, this gradient map will uh, make the effect uh, stand out a little more. Now let's add another gradient map and this time I'll use the gold copper, this one, and I'll click OK and I'll change the blend mode to soft light. This will increase the contrast on my image and I'll change the opacity to 50%. At the end, we'll create two um, layers which allow us to change the global light and or, or darkness of the image. Because the action that I created, if you apply it to, a different, uh, to different images, uh, not all images have the same contrast on them. So sometimes with the same action and exactly the same settings, one photo can come out too, uh, too exposed and too bright and some others can uh, end up being too dark. So at the end we will create two layers which uh, will allow us to change the overall brightness of the image. And uh, that will be included on the on the action. Okay, so let's uh, move on and add another gradient map. And this time will be the sepia 4. Click OK, change the blend mode to color. And I'll change the opacity to just 15%. Now I will not explain how gradient maps work because I already have a tutorial explaining how uh, this gradient work, uh, the highlights, remapping the colors and, and, and everything. And I'm using the these um, photographic toning uh, uh, sample pack. But if you don't have them and play the action uh, you will get the colors uh, anyway. So um, let's move on and add an exposure adjustment and what I want to do with this is just increase, well add some light, create a soft haze effect on the image and I'll change the offset to the right to 0, to 0.219 and I'll change the gamma correction to, to 1.04 and this is the mm, creamy haze effect that you get with this adjustment and uh, let's move on and add a selective color and the reason why I add selective, the selective color is because it allows me to change the whites, neutrals and blacks and change the amount of color on those tones. You can also uh, play with these colors over here, for example the yellows, which, um, well, most of the tones here on the image are now yellows because we added a lot of brown colors and things like that. So I can add even more from here, for example, take a look at the background and I can add more more light on that or or make it darker or uh, but for this particular image I'm not interested in that so I will reset everything and I'll just work on the neutrals and blacks. 
And the settings that I have for this are minus one right here on the cyan. So I took away some cyan uh, and that means I added 1% red, then three here on the magenta. So I added a bit of magenta and a bit of yellow by adding just 5% yellow makes the image a bit, a bit yellow. Uh, just, you can see really small amounts. Uh, these are very sensitive, um, the stone. So with just really small amounts, you can, you can create the effect that you want. Here on the blacks, I have zero, zero and two, just two for the blacks. And let me show you the before and after. See that? We just created an even more, uh, this golden tone to it. Okay, and now a curves adjustment. This allows you to uh, change the, the um, not levels, curves. This will allow you to increase the, the overall brightness of the image if you if you need to. Let's leave it there. And then I will also go into the blue channel and just create a soft uh, split tone effect. By dragging this up, I'll, I'll make it really um, strong so you can see what happens, okay? This effect, it's too strong for this. I don't want uh, such a strong effect, so I'll uh, reduce it a bit like that and see the before and after. And that's pretty much it. Um, now comes those uh, control levels, the, those control layers that I told you about. So what you do is press Shift, Alt, Command and E or shift alt control and E twice and what you will do with this you will stamp all these layers you will merge them onto new layers also what you can do is select the entire canvas with control command A or from select all and then go to edit copy merged and then paste uh, a couple of times and you will get exactly the same result and I'll rename this to um, darken and this one to lighten. And I'll change the darken uh, layer blend mode to multiply. And I'll reduce the opacity to zero. And the lighten, I, uh, like that. And this one to screen. And I'll reduce the opacity to zero. So if you make the action, uh, once you get here, what you would do is select everything, press Control Command G to group it and give it a name like uh, Autumn Tones. And you could then stop the action and when you play it again, you will create everything here and with the group like that and that would be your action. Um, on my website, you will find the download, link, uh, the download link, as I said, and you can play the action if you want to. Now with these two layers, what you do is if, uh, for example, let's assume this is another picture that uh, we we used. Well, actually, you'll have to. Uh, when you create the action uh, at the end, the stamp will be the stamp of the visible image. So uh, it will be this one, for example, if you use this one. Um, what you do with this is if you want more darkness on the image, just increase the opacity. And since this is set to multiply, it will, it will darken the image. Um, as you increase, well, as you move this uh, towards the right. You can also use this, the overlay, which will give you more contrast, but uh, uh, you tend to burn the highlights. That's why I use multiply. And uh, that way you just darken the image and not affect the highlights. And if you want more uh, brightness, if for example, your image comes up like this, you can use this other light and layer to recover some of that, uh, some of that uh, brightness on the image and get exactly the amount of light that you want. So uh, that's the effect that I wanted to show you. Let me again, show the original image and the edited one and this one here, but I have to deactivate these two layers. You can see it works uh, pretty well with the same settings without changing anything. You create this sort of faded uh, soft light haze effect that it's quite beautiful, I think. So that's all for today. I hope you will you liked it. Uh, I'm Andre from PSD Box and see you on the next tutorial.